this topic is about test of centrifugal fan and rotary blower lecture. Introduction. Fans and blowers provide air for ventilation and industrial process requirements. Fans generate a pressure to move air or gases against a resistance caused by ducts, dampers, or other components in a fan system. The fan rotor receives energy from a rotating shaft and transmits it to the air. Next, difference between fans, blower, and compressor. So see the table, difference between fans, blower, and compressor. Fans, blowers, and compressors are differentiated by the method used to move the air and by the system pressure they must operate against. As per American Society of Mechanical Engineers, ASME, the ratio, the specific ratio is the ratio of discharge pressure over the suction pressure. It's used for defining the fan, blower, and compressor. Ano yung pagkakaiba niya? So equipment, the pans, the specific ratio is up to 1.11. Pressure rise is millimeter water gauge is 1136 or 44 point, 45 pesos, uh, inch of water gauge. Huh? Uh, blowers, 1.11 to 1.2 yung specific ratio. 1136 to 2066 ang millimeter water gauge pressure rise. <coughs> Compressor is more than... 1.2 yung specific ratio. Then, pressure rise simply above 2066. So, fan types. Fan and blower collection depends on the volume flow rate, pressure, type of material handled, speech limitations, and efficiency. So, pan efficiency differ from design to design and also by types. So, typical ranges of pan efficiencies are table 2. So, yung type of pan, then peak efficiency range. So, andyan siya. Andyan siya typical pan. Basahin na lang yung mga range ng value. So, andyan. Axial pan. Ang tatlo, bain axial, tube axial, and propeller. So, andyan siya. Mga value niya. Okay? So, andyan ang gagamitin yung mga value. So, pag nag-design kayo ng Pan. So, pans fall into two general categories. E, Na-record ko na ito dati kaso nag-error yung boses. So, okay na sana yun. Category, centrifugal flow and axial flow. So, in centrifugal flow, air flow changes direction twice. Dito, in, then, ikot siya sa taas, sa parabas doon. Yan ang in niya, di ba? Once when entering and the second when leaving. Forward curve, backward curve, or inclined, radial. Figure 1. And axial flow, air enters and leaves the pan with no change in direction. Propeller, tube axial, when axial. Figure 2. Okay? Now, centrifugal pan tayo. Types. The major types of centrifugal pan are radial forward curve, backward curve. Figure 3. Ito. Radial pans are industrial workhorses because of their high static pressures up to 1,400 mm water column or water gauge. 1 pour divided by 25.4. It's about 55 inch of water column. And ability to handle heavily contaminated air stream. Because of their simple design, radial pans are well suited for high temperatures and medium blade dips. Next is the forward curve. Forward curve pans are used in clean environments and operate at low temperatures. They are well suited for low tip speed and high air flow work. They are best suited for moving large volume of air against relatively low pressure. Next is the backward inclined pans, which are more efficient than forward curve pans. Backward inclined pans reach their peak power consumption and then power demand drops off well within their usable air flow range. Backward inclined pans are known as non-overloading because changes in static pressure do not overload the motor. 
Next, axial flow pans. Ito yung mga axial flow pans. So, major types of axial flow pans are the tube axial, vein axial, and propellers. Tube axial pans have wheels inside a cylindrical housing with close clearance between blade and housing. See yan, gap yan, yung gap. To improve air flow efficiency, the wheel turns faster than propeller pan. Enabling operation under high pressure 250 to 400 mm water or long. The efficiency is up to 65%. Next naman is vein axial pan, similar to tube axial, but with the addition of guide vanes that improve efficiency by directing and straightening the flow. As a result, they have a higher static pressure with less dependence on the duct static pressure. Such pans are used generally for pressures up to 500 mm water column. Main axials are typically the most energy efficient pans available and should be used whenever possible. Next is the propeller pans usually run at low speed and moderate temperature. They experience a large change in airflow with small change in static pressure. They handle large volume of air at low pressure or pre-delivery. Propeller pans are often used indoors as exhaust pan. Other applications include air cold condenser and cooling tower. Efficiency is low, approximately 50% or less. Different type of pans for their characteristic and typical application are given in table 3. So, ito. So, typical pans are dito sa ating mga type. Tiyan nyo. Post nyo. Then, screenshot. O, i-post nyo. Pag-ibasahin nyo ito. Characteristic. Typical application. So, it's actual flow pass. Pero type. Characteristic and typical application. Okay? Nabasa ko na yung sa first recording kaso nasira nga. Common blower types. So, blower naman tayo. Blowers can achieve much higher <coughs> pressures than pans as high as 1.2 kg per square centimeter. Okay. They are also used to produce negative pressures for industrial vacuum system. Major types are centrifugal blower and positive displacement blower. Okay. The pressure to 1.2 kg per centimeter squared. Ibig sabihin, ang 1.03 kg per centimeter squared is 14.696 PSI or atmospheric pressure. Centrifugal blowers look more like centrifugal pumps than pan. The impeller is typically gear driven and rotate as fast as 15,000 RPM. In multi-stage blower, air is accelerated as it passes through its impeller. In a single-stage blower, air does not take many turns and hence it is more efficient. Centrifugal blowers typically operate against pressure of 0.35 to 0.7 kg per centimeter squared, but can achieve higher pressure. Pressurization, huh? So one characteristic is that air flow tends to drop drastically as system pressure increases, which can be a disadvantage in material conveying that depend on a steady air volume. Because of this, they are most often used in applications that are not prone to plugging. So next is the positive displacement blower, have rotors which stop air and push it to housing. Positive displacement blower provide a constant volume of air even if the system pressure varies. They are especially suitable for application prone to clogging. So, yeah, this positive. Since they can produce enough pressure, typically up to 1.25 kg per square centimeter, to blow clog material free. They turn much slower than centrifugal blower. That is 2,600 RPM. And are open belt driven to facilitate speed hanging. So, yeah. Next is pan performance evaluation and efficient system operation. So system characteristic, ito yung kanyatawag ng system characteristic, curve ng airflow actual, CFM, total static pressure drop. Total na, the term system resistance is used when referring to static pressure. Okay, so dito kayo system characteristic. Okay, the system resistance is the sum of static pressure losses in the system. The system resistance is a function of the configuration of ducts, pickups, elbows, and pressure drop across equipment, for example, bug filter or cyclone. The system resistance varies with the square of the volume of air flowing through the system. So, thus, the system resistance 
increases substantially as the volume of air flowing through the system increases. The square of air flow, ito yung system resistance. Conversely, resistance of decreases as flow decreases. To determine what the volume the pan will produce, it is necessary, therefore necessary to know the system resistance characteristic. Yan ang curve niya, this is parabolic. In existing system, the system resistance can be measured. In system that have been designed but not built, the system resistance can be must be calculated. Typically, a system resistance curve, figure 5, is generated for, with, for various flow rate on the x-axis and associated resistance on the y-axis. Yeah. Expand characteristic. <coughs> Kanyan na yung system System curve sa pump. Ito naman, pan characteristic. So, <laughs> pan characteristic can be expressed in the form of pan curve. Ito yung system curve natin, system characteristic. Ito naman is yung pan curve. The static pressure and the CFM. The pan curve is a performance curve for the particular pan under a specific set of conditions. The pan curve is a graphical representation of a number of interrelated parameters. Thus, typically a curve will be developed for a given set of conditions, usually including the pan volume, system static pressure, pan speed, and brake power required to drive the pan under stated condition. So, ito yung SP is the static pressure. Tapos, BSP. And ito yung basa ng BSP. Ayan, brake cost power. Static efficiency itong inverted parabola. Yan. So, pupunta ka doon sa efficiency. Okay? So, so, formula ng static, ano, i-divide mo na efficiency, makuha mo yung cost power. Pag ginipay mo ba ng motor efficiency, pump. Motor na yun. Some pump curve will also include an efficiency curve so that a system designer will know where on what on that curve, the pan will be operating under the chosen condition, figure 6. In many curves shown in figure 6, the curve static pressure, SP versus flow, is very important. So, yan. So, mga pan curve. The intersection of the system curve and the static pressure depends the operating point. Ito. Ito, 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 ito yan. When the system resistance changes, the operating point also change. changes. Once the operating point is fixed, the power required can be found by following a vertical line that passes through the operating point to an intersection with the power BSP curve. A horizontal line drawn through the intersection with the power curve will lead to the required power on the right vertical axis. On the depicted curves, the pan efficiency curve is presented. Now, system characteristic and pan curves. So, yun. System curve. Ito yung pan curves. Ito yung system curves. Okay? And any pan system, the resistance to airflow pressure increases when the airflow is increased. Okay. Ito. When the airflow is increased, yung Q1 to Q1, so, tumataas yung, ito yung ano mo. Sa pan system. Ito. Okay. As mentioned before, it varies as a square of the flow. Okay. The pan system, hindi yung pan curve, hindi yung pan yung system niya. The pressure required by a system over a range of flow can be determined and a system performance form can be developed. As shown in EC, ito figure 7. The system curve can then be plotted on the pan curve to show the pan's actual operating point at A. With the two curves, N1 and ito to, N1 and SC1, Intersect. This operating point is at airflow Q1 and P1. A pan operates along a performance given by the manufacturer for a particular pan speed. Yeah. Ito. So, ito yung speed mo given siya. Ito yung performance nyo kanina. The pan performance chart shows performance curve for a series of pan speed. 
At pan speed N1, the pan will operate along the N1 performance curve as shown in figure 7. The pan's actual operating point on this curve will depend on the system resistance. Pan's operating point at A is flow Q1 against P1. Two methods can be used to reduce airflow from Q1 to Q2. Yan, para makuha mo kung ano yung speed. Kailangan mo sa required condition mo. First method is to restrict the airflow by partially closing in the damper. This action causes a new system performance AC2 where the required pressure is greater for any required flow. Ibig sabihin, reduce mo yung damper, pababa yung flow mo. Ito. So, tataas yung pressure mo. Ah, ito. So, the... Where the required... So, ito na yung ano mo. Ba? Ito na yung... At the same speed, so ito na yung ano mo. The panel operate at B to provide the just air flow against higher pressure P2. Okay. The next is, second method to reduce air flow is by reducing the speed from N1 to N2. So, N1 to N2, speed reducer, keeping the damper fully open, the pan would operate at C to provide same Q to air flow but a lower pressure P3. So, yan pakaiba ah. Thus, reducing the pan speed is much more efficient method to decrease air flow since less power is required and less energy is consumed. So, di ba? Yung mga variable speed, drive, ito yun, consider. Next, the pan lows. Pan lows, the pan operate, the pans operate under a predictable set of laws concerning speed, power, and pressure. A change in the speed or PM of any pan will predictably change the pressure rise and power necessary to operate at a new RPM. So, dito mga flow is proportional to speed. Mayroon tayong Q1 over N, Q2 is equal to N1 over N2. Power is proportional to speed squared. So, this becomes SP1 over SP2 is equal to N1 over N2 squared. Then, power is proportional to speed cube or kilowatt 1 over kilowatt 2 or horsepower 1 has power 2 equals N1 N2 cube. So, yung tandaan dyan yan, eh? Pan lows. So, Pan performance. Error's power for a pan may be determined from either the product of pounds per minute times the value of pressure in feet divided by 33,000. Hindi yan constant na. Ah. Ah, constant yan pero may derive yan. 550 times 60. Okay. Uh, from 1 cubic feet per minute times the value of pressure in pounds per cubic square foot divided by 33,000. Okay. While the first combination is most satisfactory for pump kasi gallons pounds per minute. The second combination is more suitable for pans kasi kadalas ang ginagamit ni CFM. Okay? So, this one is CFM ang unit. So, pwede nga mga cubic meter per second. Basta alam mo yung uh, formula power. Proceeding double, converting WG to pound per square foot. So, the value of pressure and pound per square foot is P times rho W over 12. The P is a develop pressure in inches of water. Kaya value kang 12. Rho W is equal to density of measuring fluid. Pounds per square foot. Kasi yung ibin mong, ay yung head mo, yung pressure mo dun is in inches of water. So, ang dun siya mo is yung water. Using 62.4, so error's power is equal to CFM times P times 62.4 over 12 over 33,000 is CFM times P over 6350. So, nakikita nyo sa ibang lecture to, di ba? If E is used to indicate pan efficiency, the breakout's power input is Suppose power is equal to error's power over E. Note that the pan flow is the cubic feet per minute of gas measured at the pan outlet condition. Okay. So the gas leaving the pan wheel has both its velocity pressure and static pressure increase over those at inlet condition. The velocity of the air leaving the wheel is far higher than that permissible in the ducts. Therefore, a conversion from kinetic to pressure energy is indicated. For this reason and because the resistance says to overcome in the duct system and is static pressure resistance, it is customary to specify the pan developed pressure as static pressure and the pan efficiency as static efficiency. Error's power calculated from static pressure is known as static air horsepower. 
when based on total pressure, it is called the power output. Similarly, static efficiency is associated with static error's power, and mechanical efficiency is associated with the power output. The static error's power is CFM times PS over 6350, and the power output is equal to CFM times PT over 6350. Static efficiency is equal to ES, equal to static error's power divided by supposed power. And mechanical efficiency is ET, is equal to power output divided by supposed power. Total pressure is equal to PS plus PB, velocity pressure yung PB. Observe that the ratio of static and mechanical efficiency is the same as the ratio of static and total pressure. Okay, sample number one. A pad develops 5 inch static pressure and 0.7 inch velocity pressure when the flow is 8,000 CFM of air or 100 Fahrenheit air. This shaft SP is 7.6 and speed is 1.8 RPM. Calculate the static and mechanical efficiency. So P air given P sub S is 5.0 inch water gauge. P, P sub B is 0.7 inch water gauge. CFM is equal to 8,000 CFM. Suppose power is 7.6 horsepower. Required is the static efficiency and the mechanical efficiency. Solution. Static air is horsepower is CFM times PS over 6350. Then 8,000 times 5 over 6050 is 6.2 horsepower. Total pressure is PS plus PB is 5.0 plus 0.7 is 5.7 inch water gain. So the power output is CFM times PT over 6050 or 8,000 times 5.7 over 6050 7.8 horsepower. Solve for static efficiency, ES, is static error's power divided by suppose power is 6.2 over 7.6 is 0.829 or 82.9 percent. Mechanical efficiency, is of T is equal to power output over sub horsepower is 7.8 over 7.6 or 0.945 94.5%. So, yan yung mga answer. Okay, pan performance. The gas leaving the pan wheel has had both its velocity pressure and static no. pressure increase over those at inlet compress. Oh, mali. Okay, so next slide na, yeah. So, let's see na. Ayan. Sample number one is okay. So, pala. So, ayan. In the centrifugal pump, huwag natin ulitin yung pag-decard. In the centrifugal pump or pan displaces a volume of the fluid against the pit head of the fluid being compressed. Okay? So, mahirap kasi pag-record tapos edit, tapos record ulit. Tagal pag ano. So, when the fluid temperature for a pan is changed, they develop static pressure and host power vary inversely as the absolute fluid temperature and directly as the absolute pressure or the developed pressure and the horsepower vary directly as the fluid density. Yan. So, pag temperature mo constant, okay yung panlo. Pag nagbago yung temperature, bawa, nag apply mo sa hot environment, ba sa mga blow, sa boiler, sa loob, na mainit yun. So, mga, ba sa mga uh, do, sa smoke, smoke exhaust. Yan. Di-checkin mo yung effect ng temperature niya. This statement assumes that efficiency remains constant, an assumption that is correct for practical purposes. Remember that air density varies directly as the absolute pressure and inversely as the absolute temperature. The characteristic gas equation, Pb is equal to WRT, using R as 53.34 air or blue gas, is applicable to most power plant pan calculation. Sa so, sa power plant, so ibang temperature. Kung pag-testing mo sa labas, bago deliver, iba yung malamig. 
So thus, P sub F is equal to P sub I as P F, P capital P yung ambient. Ah, ito yung small letter P yung pressure drop. P sub F, T sub I over P sub I, T sub F. So the host power F is equal to S power I as P sub F, T sub I over P sub I, T sub F. That is the same. Where P is the air pressure, PSI absolute. D is air absolute temperature in Rankine. And subscript I indicates the condition before correction. And subscript E indicates the condition after correction. Okay. So variable speed pump calculation are identical to variable speed pump calculation and are for constant efficiency and constant temperature. RPM 1 divided by RPM 2 is equal to Q1 over Q2 is equal to the square root of P1 over P2 is equal to the square root of HP1 over HP2. So example number 2. A manufacturer rates his pan at 4.43 inch of water press static pressure of 6,000 CFM at 70 Fahrenheit air. Rated A. 1,500 RPM, 29.92 inch mercury, barometric pressure, 71% efficiency. What will be the flow, static pressure, and shaft horsepower at 1,8 RPM, 300 Fahrenheit air, and 26 inch mer mercury, barometric pressure. Okay? Kasi yung testing, siyempre, hindi naman dun sa lugar, binigyan ng rating sa lugar ng actual na installan. So, given P sub 1 is 4.43 inch water gauge, RPM is 1.5 RPM, RPM 2 is 1.8 RPM. Yan. Okay. So Q1 is 6,000 CFM, P sub I is 29.92 inch mercury. So, initial. T sub I is 70 plus 460 or 530 RPM. P sub F is 26 na. Hindi na 29. 26 is of mercury. When T sub F is 200 plus 460 or 660. So, nag-eriba, di ba? Nagbago lahat. Halos lahat. RPM. Uh, sure. So, required Q2, P2, and sharp HP at 180 RPM, 200 Fahrenheit, air, and 26N barometric pressure. So, for 17 degrees Fahrenheit, it's yung RPM mo nang ipalitan mo. So, nagpalit yung RPM, so, mag-iba yung flow. Q1 over Q2 is equal to RPM1 over RPM2. Q2 is 6,000 times 1, 8 over 1, 5 is 72 CFM at 70 Fahrenheit and 1, 8, oops, and 1, 5 RPM. Okay. Wait, meron akong naguguluhan dito. Okay, tama pala. Ito kasi 6,000 is Q1. 1,8 is RPM2. So, mag-multiply. So, RPM1 nag-divide. So, it is 72 CFM. Now, RPM1 over RPM2 is equal to the square root of PI of P1 over P2. So, P2 is equal to 4.43 times 1,8 over 1,5 squared is 6.30 inch of water gauge. This is at, again, 70 Fahrenheit. Yeah. Collecting for density, no effect on the volume flow. So, same ang volume. So, P sub F is equal to P sub I times P sub F, T sub I over P sub I, T sub F. So, itong P sub F, gabi natin P sub 2 prime. Is equal to 6.38 times, kasi yun, 2 mo yan eh. Times 26 times 530 over 29.92 times 660 is 4.45 inch water gauge. So, sa post power is yung formula natin na Q times P is P divided by efficiency divided by 60.50. So, 72 times 4.45 over 0.71 times 60.50 is 7.11 North Power. So, answer is Q2 is equal to 7,200 CFM. P2 prime is 4.45 inch water gain. Suppose power is 7.11 North Power. Okay? Yan. Given kasi yung efficiency. Pwede mong kunin yung un efficient. This, efficient, this is the Suppose power at 200 Fahrenheit. So next, fund design and selection criteria. Tama, naiba na ba yung title? So, fund performance and efficiency. 
So typical static pressure and power requirements for different types of pan are given in figure 8. So static pressure volume and pressure and shock power. And ito siya. And ito yung pressure. Ito yung yan, mga pressure yan. Okay, yan ang curve niya. This is the solid is backward curve. So is uh, radial. Then ito is forward curve. Ganon din dito sa power. Okay. This is pan, static pressure and power requirements for different pans yun ang curve niya. So, pan performance characteristic and impeller depend based on pan and impeller type, see figure 9. Pan performance characteristic based on impans impeller. So, yan. Flow rate and efficiency. Yan ang mga graph niya. Okay? So, na visualize yun na. Safety margin. The choice of safety margin also affects the efficient operation of the pan. In all cases, yeah. where the pan requirement is linked to the process or other requirement, other equipment, the safety margin is to be decided based on the discussions with the process equipment supplier. In general, the safety margin can be 5% over the maximum requirement of flow rate. In case of boiler, the induced lap ID pan can be decided with a safety margin of 20% on volume and 30% on head. The first lap FD pans and primary air PE pans do not require any safety margin. However, safety margins of 10% on volume and 10-20% on pressure are maintained for first lap and primary air pans. Next, flow control strategies. Typically, once a pan system is designed and installed, the pan operates at constant speed. There may be occasions when a speed change is desirable. That is when adding a new line of duct that requires an increase of airflow volume to the pan. There are also instances when the pan is oversized and the flow reduction is required. Various ways to achieve change in flow are the pulley change, Damper control, inlet guide vane control, variable speed drive, and series in parallel operations of bands. So, ito yung ten, figure 10 is pulley change. Yan, 1470. 1470, palitan mo to. So, magiging 882 RPM. O, oh, yan. Tama. Para bumaba yung speed mo. So, we're talking performance curve. Pulley change. When a pan volume change is required on a permanent basis, permanent, na, and the existing pan can handle the change in capacity, the volume change can be achieved with a speed change. So, meron kasing performance curve. May kita mo doon, allowed pa siya at okay pang efficiency sa na-reduce niyang flow. The simplest way to change the speed is with pulley change. For this, the pan must be driven by a motor to a B-belt system, belt driven. The pan can be increased or decreased with a change in the drive pulley or the driven pulley or in some cases, both pulleys. As shown in figure 10, a higher speed, high size pan over operating with damper control was downsized by reducing the motor drive pulley size from 8 inches to 6 inches. The power reduction is 12 milliwatt. Damper control. Some pans are designed with damper control. See figure 11. Ito, damper. Magbubukas sa rayan. Dampers can be located at inlet or outlet. Mayroong inlet na damper. Dampers provide a means of changing air volume by adding or removing system resistance. This resistance forces the pan to move up or down along its characteristic curve. Generating more or less air without changing the pan speed. However, dampers provide a limited amount of adjustment. And they are not particularly energy efficient. Tumataas yung horsepower. Inlet guide vanes. So inlet guide vanes yan, are another mechanism that can be used to meet variable air demand. See figure 12. Guide vanes are curved sections that lay against the inlet of the pan when they are open. When they are closed, they extend out into the air stream. As they are closed, guide vanes freeze well the air entering the pan housing. 
This changes the angle at which the air is presented to the pan blades, which in turn changes the characteristic of the pan curve. Guide vanes are energy efficient for modest flow reduction. From 100% flow to about 80% flow. Below 80% flow, energy efficiency drops sharply. Okay. Axial flow pans can be equipped with variable pitch blade, which can be hydraulically or pneumatically controlled to change blade pitch while the pan is at stationary. Variable pitch blade modify the pan characteristics substantially and thereby provide dramatically higher energy efficiency than the other option discussed thus far. Variable speed drives. Variable speed operation involves reducing the speed of the pan to meet reduced flow requirement. Pan performance can be predicted at different speed using the pan lows. Since power input to the pan changes as the cube of the flow, this is this will usually be the most efficient form of capacity control. However, the variable speed control may not be economical for system, which have infrequent low flow variation. When considering variable speed drive, the efficiency of the control system, fluid coupling, and the current, BFD, etc., should be accounted for in the analysis of power consumption. Next, series in parallel operation. Parallel operation of pans is another useful form of capacity control. Pans in parallel can be additionally equipped with dampers, variable inlet vanes, variable pitch blade, or speed controls to provide a high degree of flexibility and reliability. Combining pans in series or parallel can achieve the desired airflow without building increasing the system packet size or pan diameter. Parallel operation is defined as having two or more pans blowing together side by side. So the performance of two pans in parallel will result in doubling the volume flow, but only at pre-delivery. As in figure 13 shows, when a system curve is overlaid on the parallel performance curve, the higher the system resistance, the less increase in flow result while parallel pan operation. Thus, this type of application should only be used when the pan can operate in low resistance, almost in pre-delivery conditions. So, a series parallel ng pump. Pressure, flow. High resistance systems, single pan. So, ito naman, two pans in parallel. Nag-usog siya. Yan. Low resistance system. So, apply lang siya sa low resistance. Yan. Series operation can be defined. Ito ang series as using multiple pans in push-pull arrangement. By staging two pans in series, the static capability at a given airflow can be increased. Yeah, tapos nag-increase yung head. So, isang flow lang, isang flow. Kung dito, punta doon. But again, not to double at every flow point. As the above figure displays in series operation, the best result are achieved in system with high resistance. And both series, kasi yung uh, uh, pressure mo, yung resistance mo, is nag-a-add the pressure. So dito sa ano naman, nag a lang yung flow. Kaya so capacity mataas. And both series in parallel operation, particularly with multiple pans, certain areas of the combined performance curve will be unstable and should be avoided. The, this instability is unpredictable and is a function of the pan and motor construction and operating point. Next, pan performance assessment. Ito na. Mga pang test ng pan. So, the pans are tested for field performance by measurement of flow, head, temperature on the pan side and electrical water kilowatt on the motor side. So, flow control strategies. So, air flow measurement, static pressure. So, ito. Static pressure is potential is the potential energy put in to the system by pan. It is given up to friction in the ducts and at the end duct inlet as it is converted to velocity pressure. At the inlet of the duct, the static pressure produces an area of low pressure. So ayan sa figure 14, static total and velocity pressure. Velocity pressure is the pressure along the line of that flow that results from air flowing through the duct. 
Velocity pressure is used to calculate air velocity. So dito makuha mo yung velocity niya. But the pressure, the velocity pressure is yung difference nito. Ayan, yung mga difference niya nakukunan mo. So ito, static pressure close siya. Vertical static. Total pressure Okay. And natural naman itong isa is velocity pressure lang makukuha mo kasi minopos siya ng static pressure. Sa gitna ng total pressure. Yan. Yan ang natural ng test ng ano, duck. Mga duck. Tatlo. Static pressure, total pressure, and velocity pressure. So total pressure is the sum of the static and velocity pressure. Velocity pressure and static pressure can change as the air flow to different size duct, accelerating and decelerating the velocity. The total pressure stays constant, changing only with friction losses. The, il the illustration that follows shows how the total pressure changes in the system. The pan flow is measured using pi to tube manometer combination or a flow sensor, the pressure pressure instrument, or an accurate anemometer. So care needs to be taken. Regarding number of transverse points, straight line section to avoid turbulent flow regimes of measurement, upstream and downstream of measurement location. The measurement can be on the suction side or discharge side of the pan and preferably both were feasible. So, yun. So, dito tano, nagtatapos yung topic. Di testing ng pan, andyan yung mga, yan, nakasaksak yung mga pay to tube. Mamumunit sensor yan, mamumunitor niya yung pressure yan. Okay.